Hi, so now we're going to look through the intricacies of LT Spice with regards to the uh, selection of the voltage sources that we use to both power the devices and also to emulate a balanced input into the into the circuit. So in order to bring the voltage sources up, if you do a right click, could be an alternative on Windows, but this is on a, a Mac. Draft component. If you type voltage uh, here and it brings up a voltage source and you'll notice that the voltage source can either be DC, AC, pulse or sine so it, it doesn't matter to, to choose at this point we can choose it later so if we just do OK and then drop it in so if you do a right click you can see by default it's a DC value so in your case either enter 15 or 16 volts so 15 volts and you'll notice what I've done is I've connected two together and I've connected the negative to the positive and this is identical to how you would do it in the lab in terms of having two power supplies one feeding negative to positive and what that gives you is the ability to have plus 15 at the top here and minus 15 at the bottom here now it's important in the voltage source that you still enter 15 volts because really there's no such thing as a minus 15 everything is with reference so this is 15 and this is 15 it's just how you connect them that's our DC supply rail, so we've got positive going to the positive of the TLO72 and we've got negative going to the negative. Now these are, our, um, over here we've got exactly the same, we've, we've just dragged in some voltage sources. But you'll notice that I've got positive going there and I've, what I've done is I've rotated the device so that the negative feeds the other input of the op-amp. It doesn't really matter which uh, polarity you have these, you can have it either way you like. So you could have this negative, this positive, this positive, this negative, etc. It doesn't matter. But what's important, if we go into the advanced settings, what we're able to do is set up AC amplitude. And that's really important. And it, we say it's sinusoidal and it's got a fixed, in this case, kilohertz frequency. Um, but that will change if we ask it to do an a during an AC analysis. Um, so it's important if this is going to be an AC source that you set it up as an AC source rather than a DC source. And then you're ready to really uh, to run some analysis. So as I went through before, just to just take through it again, we've got a transient analysis here. So this is set up to do a transient analysis. If I click, let's put that, uh, move this out of the way. There. So as I hover over, if I do a left, left click on things, dink, like that, I can see the input voltage versus the output voltage. What's really cool is I can also look at the uh, the antiphase input voltage, and I can look at different voltages at different places, actually, wherever I want in the circuit, um, which is a pretty cool thing. And if I want, I can look at the, uh, the DC levels. Um, so that's the 15 volt DC level. And that's the minus 15 volt DC level, so this is showing everything uh, in respect of that, which is uh, pretty nice.